The electrical system is energized by placing the battery switch to the battery position. The voltmeter is checked to be certain that the hot battery bus voltage is at least 24 volts. The left start button is depressed. The left start relay is energized closed energizing the left starter generator with battery power. The white light and the left start button will light up. The left starter generator will motorize, turning the N2 spool in the engine. The N2, or turbine RPM, will begin increasing, as displayed on the turbine RPM display for the left engine. As N2 passes above 10%, and N1 rotation is noted, the left thrust lever is placed in the idle position. This causes the left engine igniters to energize. As the fuel-air mixture in the engine's combustion chamber is ignited, the left engine ITT gauge will indicate an increase in temperature. As the combustion energy is added to the starter's power, the N2 RPM will continue increasing. When N2 passes approximately 45%, the generator control unit will de-energize the left starter relay, terminate the igniters, and turn off the left fuel boost pump. This terminates the start sequence. The starter generator is now in the generator mode. As the generator output voltage exceeds the battery voltage, the GCU closes the left power relay. The left amp meter will indicate current flow to the left main bus, which is also connected to the other DC buses. A cross start, using the operating left generator and the battery to start the right engine, is as follows. With the left engine at idle power, the right start button is depressed. This will cause both start relays to close and the battery relay to open. The opening of the battery relay ensures that the high